Yes. That's funny, Dad, Mom. You think? Why? Gr I'm Grandma. not, Mom. I'm Grandma. Grandma, that's funny. Okay. King Midas loved gold. He slept in a gold bed. He kept a bluebird in a gold cage. Every morning, the bluebird sang to wake him up. Every morning, the king put on his golden crown. He sat down to breakfast with his daughter, Princess Leah. Leela, I guess. I can't see. They draw, drank royal grape juice. They ate royal sausages. They drank from golden cups, and they ate from golden plates. After breakfast, the king went to see his royal goldsmith. His goldsmith made him golden clocks and golden tables. Him? Wow. They even made him golden fish hooks. Wow, he loved gold, didn't he? Every day the king went for a ride. He went all over the land looking for gold. Then he took that gold back to his palace. Wow, he's crazy about gold. In the palace, his servants took the gold downstairs and the king unlocked a secret door. Oh my gosh! The servants took the gold into a big dark cave. The cave was full of gold. Every day, King Midas locked himself in. Gold, he would say. I love the way it shines. That is a very... Oh. Then one day, a little man appeared to him. And he said, you can have a wish. And King Midas said, I wish everything that I touch turns to gold. And the little man says, that is a very big wish. It may not make you happy, but if that is what you want, this is a leprechaun. They live in Ireland. He said, if that is what you want, I will make your wish come true. Go upstairs, go to bed, and in the morning, everything you touch will turn to gold. That night, King Midas could not sleep. All night he wondered, will my wish come true? Will that little leprechaun give me the golden touch? At last the sun came up. The king's bluebird began to sing. King Midas sat up. He reached out to touch his bird. The bluebird turned to gold. It works, shouted King Midas. I have the golden touch. He put on his royal coat and his royal pants. His gold coat and pants turned to gold. King Midas ran through his palace. He turned a door to gold. He turned a gorge to gold. Whoops. A door to gold. He turned a chair to gold. He turned an, his umbrella to gold. And his fishes. And his fish and the frogs. He turned to gold. He touched the red roses. He turned them all to gold. Look, he called to Princess Leela. Look what I can do. But Leela did not answer. She just looked at the golden roses. They were hard and cold. They did not even smell. The king and the princess went to eat breakfast. King Midas was very happy. He loved being everything to gold. He took his royal sausage. Ouch, he said. My sausage turned to gold. It about broke my teeth off. I can't eat this, he said. He reached for his purple grape juice. Oh, my, said King Midas. Golden grape juice, hard as ice. I must have food. I'm hungry, he said. He ran into the royal kitchen. He grabbed a fish. It turned to gold. He grabbed apples and donuts. He grabbed more and more sausages. He grabbed everything he could in the royal kitchen. It all turned to gold. He was really hungry. The same thing happened all day long. He didn't get to eat all day. He couldn't write. His ink turned to gold. He couldn't make a fire. The logs turned to gold. All the king's servant ran away. No one could work in the palace like this. They all left. That night, the king tried to brush his teeth. Oh, my word, his toothbrush turned to gold. He tried to take a bath. He tried to go to bed. 
but there was nothing he could do. His bed got hard and went gold, and he bonked his head. His bath dump, look at that, turned to gold. He was standing on the water. Oh, man, is he in trouble. King Midas sat on the golden bed, and he began to cry. Princess Leela heard her father, and she came into his room. Daddy, she said, please don't cry. She ran to her father and held out her arms. Oh, no. King Midas reached out. He touched his little girl. Leela turned into a golden statue. Day after day, King Midas sat on his golden throne in his golden palace, and he looked and he looked at his cold, gold daughter. Then one day, there was a flash of light. King Midas looked up, and the little leprechaun was back. King Midas, said the little man, I think I will give you one more wish. If you love something more than gold, wish for it, King Midas. Wish for it with all your heart. King Midas jumped up, and he wished with all his heart. He put out his hand. He touched his cold, gold daughter that was a statue. He wished, and it came true. He had turned his daughter back from gold. They ran through the palace. The king touched everything he turned, everything back into what it had been before. He touched the roses. He touched the frog. He touched the umbrella. He touched the bluebird. At last of all, he touched the royal sausage and the royal grape juice. Then King Midas and King Leela sat down to breakfast. It was the happiest breakfast they ever had. <laughs>